Besides excellent skills, eye-catching appearances, K-pop idols are also trained by their entertainment agencies to possess standard manners before debuting in order to build a good image of them in the eyes of the public. However, recently, there are idols who are said to have lost their original image and changed to a totally different person, which, according to netizens, freaks them out and disappoints them real hard. Number 1. Jackson Wong Freaking the Hell Out of People with His Choreography after his departure from GOT7, Jackson Wong spent most of his activities in China and gained popularity here. However, lately, the male idol was caught up in a controversy around his current image, which is said to be a total contrast to it in the past. Specifically, during his 2022 to 2023 Magic Man World Tour, there are many circulated videos on social media about him having many shocking actions on stage. The male singer was seen to excessively swing his hips and have erotic choreography, which is said to be rated 18 moves and not appropriate with adolescent fans, not to mention other crazy actions like drinking and pouring wine all over his body. Not only that, he also got everyone talking due to his weird way of doing fan service. To be more specific, Jackson constantly invited his fangirls on stage and had numerous intimate interactions with them like hugging them and kissing their hands. What is also worth mentioning is that he even brought a fan on stage and gave her a lap dance as well as performed offensive moves in front of her. Jackson was seen to be too hysterical to the point that he didn't hesitate to strip his shirt off when getting closer to his fans and let them touch his bare chest, making the concert look like a real club. Needless to say, everyone is speechless after watching these videos as they are shocked to see what kind of person Jackson turns out to be, saying that he is now no different from a weirdo. Even his own fans also stated that they are so embarrassed to the extent that they dare not to claim to be his fans anymore. Some even expressed their regrets for his gentlemanly elite image when he was a member of GOT7 and joked that they really need to wash their eyes after watching those videos. To this point, many suspect that when Jackson was working as a member of GOT7, JYP Entertainment must try so hard to help him to cover up his true color and build a perfect image of him as a caring man and boyfriend material. However, after leaving, Jackson had totally revealed his nature as a person who is willing to sell himself short and do whatever it costs as long as he has his own benefit and money. On the other hand, many other fans show their interest in his current image and defend him, saying that Jackson now just simply follows the style he has always wanted to but didn't have the chance to do when being under JYP Entertainment. Not him being weird and crazy at all. They also said that those who don't like that and are not into him should just skip over instead of mocking and criticizing him, as well as let other people who love Jackson as who he is continue to support him. Number 2. Jenny Being Allegedly Spoiled there is a fact that Jenny has constantly been in the limelight, leading to haters nitpicking every aspect of her life. One of the latest discussions that have stirred controversy among netizens is about the way Jenny presented herself lately. Despite being at the forefront of creating trends with a breakthrough fashion career, Jenny is as famous as she is scandalous. It can be said that 2022 is the year in which Jenny has been constantly under fire for her overexposed style and performance. At the start of the year, she created a buzz when wearing an underboob top during the Paris Fashion Week 2022, continuing through the middle of the year with incident and overexposed outfit in Blackpink's Pink Venom teaser, and most recently with critiques of revealing and provoking costumes during the Born Pink tour. As you can see, Jenny has been changing her image completely and if you've been following her Instagram or been her diehard fan for a long time, you'll definitely notice that about two years ago in the How You Like That era, Jenny used to follow a girl crush style, sometimes a bit sassy yet still chic and feminine. Crop tops, baggy jeans, or elegant dresses were the clothes she often wore at that time. Since 2022, it seems that Jenny is pursuing a sexier and more seductive style like Western singers, with spaghetti strap bralettes and super short shorts which reveal most of her body. Since this is in stark contrast to the other Blackpink members, as Jisoo is still elegant, Rosé is still sweet, Lisa is still vibrant as they have always been, Jenny is said to be the disgrace of the group when constantly getting in trouble with her controversial stylings. 
Not only that, her actions and behaviors are also said to be way worse compared to when she first debuted. Some remarks criticized Jenny for the way she twerked in Paris and how lazy and superficial she was during the world tour in Hong Kong, saying that the female idol is becoming out of control and no longer the Jenny Kim people used to know, as she seems to be trying too hard to be as liberal as Western stars. Many even stated that Jenny is not qualified enough to be an idol as her current style will promote bad images to young fans. However, many have also swooped in to defend Jenny, emphasizing that she is a freaking adult so she has the right to pursue the image she finds appropriate. Thus, Jenny can wear whatever she likes and do whatever she wants as long as it doesn't affect the interests of others. What's not normal here is that many toxic netizens and so-called fans always try to force Jenny to be what they want and tell her what to do. Above all, to promote their image widely, Blackpink has been focusing heavily on international markets such as North America and Europe, where there is a significant cultural difference compared to Korea, so the fact that the group's outfits are a bit more revealing is acceptable. Number 3. Jeon Somi not focusing on her idol career Well, the controversy was sparked on Pan after netizens noticed that Jeon Somi now seems to ignore her music career because she was seen to not have much promotion activities regarding her solo career lately, and instead worked real hard on filming TikTok videos and commercials, which aren't really approved from netizens as well as gets on their nerves. Many stated that as a solo artist, Somi needs to spend time building a solid foundation because her career path is not stable enough to allow her to enter other fields like what Blackpink has done. Since dropping her solo debut, the young female idol was considered one of the most successful soloists when releasing many hits which received really positive reactions from netizens, like What You Waiting For or Dum Dum. However, as there are no new promotions from Somi during two years after that, she was said to gradually disappear from the K-pop track which is really alarming as the K-pop world is becoming more and more competitive with mushrooming talented idols. Netizens thus asked Somi to stop playing around and instead concentrate more on her music career to gain her fame back. However, others didn't see eye to eye with these opinions. They said that netizens are just full of jealousy of Somi because she obviously has flawless visual and tons of advertisement contracts. So criticizing her for the alleged distraction from her music career is just the way some netizens used to help them feel better with their insecurities. Not only that, Somi's fans also pointed out that the female idol is not the one who made decisions on her plans, but in fact, it depends on her agency's strategy. Thus, netizens should be more reasonable and weigh the whole situation before judging anyone. So, do you think these idols really have a problem with their image lately as netizens claim? Is Jackson being weird? Is Jenny trying too hard to be a Western artist? And is Somi getting lazy? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.